Question number one. A body is projected horizontally from a height of 5 meters. It reaches the ground at a horizontal distance of 10 meters. The speed of the particle where it reaches the ground is. The problem can be depicted like this. One minute. The problem can be taken like this. This is a, a projection over of a height of a 5 meters. So here a body is projected and reaching a ground. Whenever a body is projected, it will have two velocities when it is coming down. One is velocity along the x-axis and the other one is velocity along the y-axis. So what is the velocity along the y-axis? As far as the projectile is concerned, this travel can be taken as a free fall. So we can use this formula V is equal to U plus G D as a formula to calculate the velocity along the y axis. So P is equal to because it is dropped from a height, so we can take it as a G T. G is 10, so it is simply 10 T. So this is the V Y velocity. Now we have to calculate the V X. For calculating Vx, we have to first calculate the time taken for the ball to fall from the height. For that, we will use this equation. S is equal to ut plus half gt square. So, here again the ball is dropped from the top. So, height h is equal to half gt square. So, from here t square equal to 2h by g or t is equal to square root of 2h by g. Now, 2 into h in this cavern is 5 meters. So, h is given in this case as a 5 meters. So, 2 into 5 by g has taken as 10 meters. So, answer is 1. So, t square is square root and t is again is going to be 1. So, time of fall is 1. Now, the range, the distance covered, this range equal to velocity into time taken. This is the velocity that we call it as Vx. So, Vx is equal to R by T. R in this case is given as it cover a distance of 10 meters. So, 10 by 1. So, it is going to be 10. So, this is gt is 10t and this is 10t is again 1. So, this is also 10 we can say. So, Vx, Vy we have calculated. Now, we can go for calculation of a V itself. So, calculating V. So, V is equal to square root of Vx square plus Vy square. So, it is the square root of 10 square plus 10 square. So, it is going to be root of 200. So, it is 10 root 2 is the correct answer. So, the correct answer is 10 root 2 V is the correct answer.